visual pollution is what the city manager's office calls this kind of storage lot for used houses. As a result of citizen complaints about the movement and storage of unsightly buildings, the city council is considering an ordinance that would prohibit these storage lots inside Dallas, increase moving permit fees, and ban the importation of used houses into the city. Of the 410 houses moved this year, less than 5% were imported. However, the city argues that imported houses are often substandard and add to the already existing slums. On the other hand, the House Movers Association claims imported houses do not create slums because they must pass building code inspections before they can be moved into a neighborhood. During a public hearing today before the city council, the movers' strongest objection, though, was to the proposed ban on city storage lots for their houses. We want to display our used houses for sale the same as automobile dealers display used cars and motor home sales lots have motor homes for sale. And this new ordinance provides that as long as they're new houses, they can be on a storage lot, but if they're used houses, they don't want them. Well, I think the city thinks they're eyesores. They do think they're eyesores, and we probably do have some that should be removed from our storage lots that don't want being moved again. Biggs admits that many of these storage lots for used homes are eyesores and is willing to clean his up. But Biggs and other movers want the city council to work out an ordinance that will regulate the house moving industry without putting it out of business. Martha McIntyre, Channel 8 News on South Central Expressway.